Hi, and welcome to Indigo Starfire. My name is Bevan, and in this video, I'm going to be looking into the question, what are the person on your mind's intentions towards you and the long-term viability of the connection? There are three groups to choose from. Group one is the Amethyst. Group two is the Celestite. And group three is the Garnet. So if you want to take a moment to center, focus on your breathing, and feel whichever group, maybe multiple groups, or perhaps all of the groups that you're most drawn to, I'll give you a minute to make your selection and then we'll get right into it. And there are timestamps in the description box of the video for each group if you'd like to jump ahead. And up next is a close-up photo of the crystals to help you better make your selection. Hi, group one. We chose the amethyst. So let's start by taking a look at what are the intentions of the person on your mind towards you in this connection. Okay, so we have Blessed Yule Hope. So there's a sense here of them restoring your hope or your faith in the ability that people with good hearts are out there, people with honest intentions, people that are who they present themselves to be, truly exist in the world. So you may have given off the vibes of your trust is kind of hard to earn. Um, you may have let this person know about instances, incidents in your romantic past that have caused some wounding that you've needed to heal and kind of progress beyond, um, either that you directly told them about or they're able to just infer based on kind of a guardedness um, or a hesitation to fully trust or open your heart to the situation and to them. And so there, it's their intention to kind of show you in a long-term sense um, that you can rely upon what they are presenting to you at face value. So this may be somebody who is willing to really stay the course, willing to put in the effort kind of day by day in order to win your trust gradually or to show you through kind of a, a variety of circumstances and through different methods and means that they are who they present themselves to be. We also have Beset and Sekhmet, Ferocious Femininity. So there's a sense here that this person is, the intention is not to tame you, but to run wild alongside you. Um, something about your authenticity really inspires this person to unleash a ferocity of romance that it feels like they have not really met anyone they felt inclined to do this for or towards before, or this might even be something where you've sparked some sort of passion within this person um, that has been kind of dormant within in them or you know where they had maybe been very closed off as far as like deep romantic partnerships and yet there's a motivation to go above and beyond what it feels like they were looking for at this time in their life um, when they met you when they encountered you there's a sense of I want to let down my guard I want to lead by example by expressing a vulnerable part of myself or you know kind of honoring your individuality by really expressing my own individuality as well um, there's a sense here of putting your kind of fears to rest so intuitively knowing again kind of tying back into that energy of Yule that there may be a guardedness about you you may have been through some things, um, you know, in romance, kind of live, loving and losing, living and, and having to like rebuild ups and downs, any kind of turbulence um, that they know about directly or that they're able to just infer from you. There's a sense of wanting to really put your mind at rest, put your heart at rest, um, you know, put your, satisfy your intuition that whatever has kind of caused you to sort of give this person, um, you know, access to your energy or you're, you're talking to them or you're considering uh, the viability of a partnership with them, there's a sense of this trust is not something they're going to take for granted. And there's, there's an interest here in really encouraging you to 
honor and be proud of your own intuition, that taking a chance on them, taking a leap of faith on them, extending whatever trust you have up to this point in time and will in the future, that this is a good investment. And we also have success. So there's that energy of the star, that energy of hope. Um, again, kind of going the distance to show you that this is not just somebody who's putting on a mask, putting on a show in order to get into your good graces, um, you know, kind of move beyond any boundaries and barriers, and then we'll switch up, you know, sort of later on. This is somebody who is trying to present a lot of transparency, trying to present themselves at face value as like a high quality individual, um, you know, somebody who's been through the ups and downs in their own life may have had to rebuild or resurrect themselves um, from any kind of dissonance or disharmony that had occurred in their life and that the version of them that you're encountering at this point in time is trustworthy and reliable because it's taken some work and effort on their part in order to kind of reach that status within themselves in their life um, spiritually internally energetically speaking and we also have courage. So that's more of that uh, kind of feline energy there. And again, like leadership, um, you know, showing that this is somebody who is confident enough within themselves that they are comfortable with you standing in your individuality, standing in your sovereignty. This is someone who intends for, um, you know, you to kind of be an equal participant in the situation with them. They may be very opinionated or determined as far as what they want, but this is somebody who is not intending to control you or to, um, you know, subjugate you in any way, cause you to dim your light, um, or feel a need to kind of placate or people please in order to be, you know, acceptable or appealing to them. Um, there's the intention of having you in your raw femininity or your raw masculinity, just whatever it is you resonate with, or even, you know, for either gender, kind of a, a healthy balance of both. This is something that this person finds very attractive, the way that you embody that, the way that you exude that. And there's an energy here of intending for you you to continue to um, kind of move between those planes and polarities of softness and strength and an intention of kind of demonstrating to you how they are capable of such transitions within themselves as well, um, that they have no kind of problem or qualms being very um, direct and assertive, but that they are also somebody who um, has their ego in check enough that they are able to kind of uh, sit back and take a take a back seat at times and, you know, sort of invite you or allow you to make decisions in the situation, um, you know, to determine the direction and the course and even the pace at which uh, the evolution and development of the connection is set at different points in time. So like in a reciprocity, an equal give and take, um, this might also kind of tie into kind of these, these double messages coming through, um, something where they want to really demonstrate to you the idea that they see you as very exceptional, very unique, and that they're kind of um, willing to do what it takes in order to compromise with you on certain things, in order to find ways to sort of um, bridge the gap between any differences between the two of you, to find some sort of happy medium where you can make the potential between the two of you work in a long-term sense and really actualize that into a very potent connection where two people are uplifted, um, you know, rather than one person just making all the compromise and the sacrifice, it, it's really the energy of a give and take is, is kind of the, the intention that this person has for you and, and for the situation. So let's take a look at the long-term viability of the connection. So we have ancestors and apples. So this is the energy of like 10 of pentacles. This can definitely be somebody that's a good investment, um, you know, emotionally, romantically, tangibly, practically, intellectually. It feels that you and this person may already have um, a lot in common, a lot more that you'll discover that you have in common with one another, kind of uh, moving at an organic pace and allowing things to kind of grow and progress um, at times where, you know, you're each sort of exerting yourself and each sort of allowing the other person 
person to take charge in the situation can yield the best results in this circumstance. It may even be something that helps the nature of this connection, can help break free from like patterns of behavior um, in terms of how you've approached romance in your past in, in a healthy way you can break free from those with this individual. They as well can break free of patterns and kind of limitations from their past romantically speaking, um, where this is almost kind of like planting new seeds, establishing a new kind of paradigm for the way in which relationships progress, um, something that has long-term viability. This could very easily be the one, be your person, be your forever person that you're uh, inquiring about at this particular point in time. And we also have goddess. So this is more of that energy of, you know, be open to receive kind of the abundance in this situation. Expect the unexpected in a very pleasant way. This also speaks to the energy of coming full circle, um, an energy of completion, but in a very nurturing sense. So again, this really signals that there's a lot of potential in this situation to defy your expectations of sort of the nature of what you were going to magnetize in as far as romance is concerned, um, kind of what you were anticipating to experience with this person. It feels like there's a lot more that they have to show you. There's a lot more that they have to demonstrate. So whatever you're experiencing at this point in time is just like the tip of the iceberg. There are many other facets to this person that it feels like will be well received and kind of fulfill your needs and expectations and in certain ways even kind of exceed those in a sense that you may feel very cherished, very protected, um, you know, very valued in this connection in a way that was lacking, um, you know, in other romances that you've had in the past. So it definitely sounds like this person is a keeper. This situation is worth um, continuing to invest in or, you know, be open to sort of the developments that will come. So let's get some messages from their higher self and see what they want to tell you right now. And they say, I'm sorry I triggered you. So it may be something where you've kind of hit a roadblock with this individual. That might be why you're even watching this reading and sort of wondering what are their intentions? What's long-term viability in this situation? Um, it feels to be something that if you're triggered by them or even the idea of kind of like, is this too good to be true? Things seem to be going so well. Is there something that I'm not seeing? Is there a catch in this situation? They have entertained similar kind of um, fears or anything that has been like a stumbling block at this point in time. There's a sense of regret, um, a sense of them kind of regrouping within in order to charge forth into this circumstance further, you know, to, to kind of overcome any misunderstandings or to kind of have this opportunity to prove to you at this point that they're willing to do what it takes to, you know, fight for this connection, to either take more of a measured pace and approach or to turn the volume up on what it is that they're presenting to you. If maybe the trigger was sort of like it, it seems to have stalled, it, it seems to be just kind of going along at too slow of a pace. This may be something where they're sensing you're pulling your energy back or you're becoming a little skeptical, um, a little guarded and kind of like, why is, why are they taking so long? Why are they, why are they not just kind of, you know, moving things forward in, in a more kind of progressive manner? And so it feels to be something that this person is, is aware of that and, and maybe sort of uh, adjusting their approach, adjusting their strategy at this point in time to, again, kind of allay any fears within you and to, present something more than they've demonstrated up to this point in time in order to earn your trust and to help you to see that it's a wise investment, um, opening your heart to them or allowing this person kind of access to your energy, access to your life. They also say, I'm ready for more than just text. So this can speak to, um, again, like elevating the situation, taking things to the next level, opening up and being more vulnerable, uh, more intimate with you, um, you know, spending more time with you, not wanting to have kind of the nature of any sort of miscommunications or anything that can be lost in translation through kind of like nervousness or if you're, you know, texting or you're dealing with this person primarily in like a virtual capacity, there's an interest here in sort of meeting up, um, being eye to eye with one another, being kind of in one another's energy to really be able to sort of read in between the lines or to be able to infer a lot more of the sincerity that this person brings to the table that might be sort of 
missing up to this point in time, or if you're dealing with them face to face, there may be kind of like a mutual guardedness that has been uh, the nature of your interactions at this point in time. So this is somebody who's ready to take that armor down. They're they're ready to show you more of a softer side and, and more of, again, like the word ferocity is coming forth. So um, an intensity of feelings or, or a capacity that they have to be romantic, to, to express love. They're wanting to show that to you in a more intense manner than they have up to this point. And they also say your words speak to me like no others can. So they're seeing you as like a kindred soul, um, somebody that when you speak, whether it's the, what you're talking about or even just uh, kind of the tenor of your voice in general, they're hearing you with their heart. They're hearing you at the soul level. Um, you definitely have awakened something within this person that has them bound and determined to uh, do what it takes to create some kind of solidification in this situation um, or to ensure that the two of you continue to get to know one another the, con the connection continues to progress and grow. And they also say, I had no idea you would end up meaning so much to me. So they may have caught feelings very quickly. This could be something that has caused them to armor up a bit, uh, sort of maybe learning from their past where they had rushed forth kind of headlong into love without laying a proper foundation. So um, they might be taking like a long route approach to the situation. That might be something that's even been kind of triggering to you um, because there's a level of almost like confidence that comes through with this, but also a sense that they're just winging it. They don't really know for sure maybe how to... Uh, move in, in this capacity when it comes to romance. Uh, they're trying to do something absolutely different from everything that they've done before in the hopes of kind of uh, achieving different results. And so it may come forth as like times where they're a bit uncertain, times where they're kind of just testing the waters and saying, you know, is this too much? Is it too little? Um, and so if any of that has kind of come up and, and sort of alerted your spidey senses, made you kind of, um, you know, be a little bit standoffish or sort of wonder what's the deal with this person? Are they, are they consistent? Are they serious about me? You know, what's really going on? It, it feels to be something that there's an interest in something long range with you. And with that in mind, there's an essence of they want to do things right. They want to make sure that they're giving enough kind of room for the two of you to breathe very individually um, and also pouring enough of themselves in very consistently to where those seeds of potential to spark the chemistry between the two of you. It has enough kind of energy infused within it to, to keep that kind of fire going or to stoke it in some sort of way um, so that the intensity of the connection can be sort of a nurturing and warming presence rather than something um, which which is either too intense or and and kind of becomes destructive or or something which is is neglected and sort of dwindles and and falls away. So I'm gonna get some initials. This can be a first, middle, or last name of you or this person, or can spell something out. Just whatever resonates for you. We've got G, H, V, E. O, R, Q, P, X, C, O, T, and N. So those are your messages. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer those through my Etsy shop, and there's a link to that in the description box of the video. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of those out as well. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well. Hi, group two. You chose the celestite. So let's start by taking a look at what are the person on your mind's intentions towards you and this connection. Weaver of the Web of Life Cooperation. 
so it is the essence here of helping you to work towards your dreams, build some sort of solid, stable foundation for yourself in terms of reassurances that you may require um, in order to trust fully that this is the love that you've been seeking or that this person um, has your back through thick and thin. This may be somebody that wants to help you kind of work through difficulties within your life or to um, even kind of try to cauterize wounds within you left behind by people who didn't value you, didn't appreciate you, didn't see your worth. Um, there's a sense of this person intending to get to know you on a deep level, wanting to know exactly where you have been hurt, where you've been disappointed, where you've been let down in love, um, so that they can help you to kind of close off those cycles, close off that narrative for yourself and start to really create and almost reprogram your subconscious or, you know, your emotional body or just your overall impression of the nature of love in general by showing something very different than the people who had had access to your heart prior to them had done. Um, so this may be something where they ask a lot of questions or they're very kind of curious, very, um, you know, wanting to know about sort of like other relationships that you've been in, or, or this may be somebody who's just kind of, they're very observant about the things that you say, kind of taking taking note of even subtleties, sort of like body language, the vibe that you give off, um, using that, like their intuitive knowledge coupled with these sort of signs or these cues that you are giving to, to try and understand kind of where you need tenderness, where you need compassion, where you need someone to be strong or to be willing to um, help to kind of rewire your understanding of what it means to feel safe, to be secure, to be uh, seen and valued and cherished within a romantic connection. We also have Freya, Lady of Love and War, Self-Love. So this is the energy of somebody who intends to fight for your heart, tends to intends to sort of uh, fight beyond any fears that you may have where, you know, maybe you are kind of looking for love, but you're not exactly optimistic that um, anyone can love you in the way that you need to be loved or maybe where people you've dealt with in the past, they have almost like an expiration date, a certain place that they're able to meet you emotionally before they bail out or, um, you know, things go south, things go sour. And so it feels to be something that this person, again, is wanting to sort of um, conquer any ghosts of the past that that may kind of be lingering within the heart space that are causing you to, you know, be involved and like present with this individual. But they may almost sense that you're kind of like you're hesitant to fully trust, sort of like when's the other shoe going to drop? When's the rug going to be pulled out from under me? When's this person going to decide that, you know, the grass is green or somewhere else or I'm not what they're looking for. Um, so again, it really speaks to something where this person may even lead by example by sharing a lot of sort of um, their mistakes and romance in the past or, um, you know, things that haven't gone very well, things that have left wounding within. And it's not just the essence of them wanting to like info dump. It's almost something where they're trying to kind of tell you things first in the hopes that you will then kind of uh, trust them with your own backstory. If they are demonstrating a degree of vulnerability, they're hoping that you will reciprocate in kind, not as a way to kind of demonstrate those wounds so that they could manipulate you or, um, you know, take advantage of you in, a, in any way, but it's almost the essence of like, I need to know where it hurts. So I need, so that I know where you require love the most. Um, this is also the essence of any kind of like challenges that exist within the connection if it's a long distance situation, um, they feel to be intent on kind of going above and beyond to provide you with what reassurances they can, that they're faithful, that they're, that they're into this, that they are, you know, devoted to you. They have all, they only have eyes for you or that they're very in, in kind of intent on, um, overcoming like physical distance as a challenge, um, or any other circumstances that may kind of present, maybe it's different work schedules or, um, you know, other kind of like interpersonal commitments, other things that sort of limit or make it difficult to make solid plans with one another, or, you know, maybe very just kind of sporadic when you're dealing with one another or anything where they may have to travel or you have to travel and there's like time apart from one another. There's a sense that this person is intent on kind of making the best of the situation, even in like not ideal circumstances, um, to doing what they can to really kind of carve out a place within their life or within their schedule to make this connection a priority. 
We also have finding love. Um, so this definitely speaks to, you know, the energy of like taking charge to, to show you and to prove to you through almost kind of like sitting with you through what might be a difficult process of even kind of, you know, telling your backstory to them or, um, you know, opening up about some painful chapters in your life or, or, or in romance, you know, just anything that kind of speaks to sort of a deficit within you. Um, where are you lacking in love? Where have you maybe had to overcompensate and fill your own cup when you require another person to kind of pour into that space within you in order to really feel healed, in order to truly feel whole within you? Um, it's a sense of being very mindful, again, of that woundedness in order to love you right, in order to love you in all the ways that others were unable to do or others failed to do or were just like not capable of doing. Um, this is a sense of this person even wanting to know what you would consider the most, you know, romantic person you've ever known, the love of your life or, you know, the highlight of your romances up to this point, up to where you've met them. And there's a sense that this person wants to outdo that. They they want to move above and beyond any others. Um, anything that you would consider kind of the, the best experience in love, they're wanting to do better than that. And we also have happiness. So this is, a you know, again, this energy of they're wanting you to be happy. They're wanting you to be joyous. They're wanting you to feel safe and secure within the connection, um, you know, within kind of the ability to see them as a trustworthy individual, as somebody who, um, you know, goes the extra mile to, to make you feel special, to make you feel seen, to make you feel cherished, to make you feel comfortable. And it feels like instead of just kind of pouring and, and like overgiving, there's a sense of this person also opening up and really um, extending the opportunity to you to kind of give love to them, showing you kind of a great capacity to receive love and then pouring uh, in kind or even kind of a, a greater value into you so that you are able to understand that this is someone capable of reciprocity. They're not just going to take you for granted or, um, you know, kind of love bomb you or anything like that. They're, this is almost a sense of this is someone with a deep capacity for romance and they're wanting to let you know that it's safe to kind of open up to your infinite potential as well because there's someone that can meet you at that level they can match you at that frequency in a very consistent way so let's take a look at the long-term viability of this connection we have the releasement. So this feels to be something in terms of that energy of wanting to kind of know what your most ideal circumstance was as far as romance is concerned, who was sort of, um, you know, that top contender for like the greatest love of all. Uh, it feels that this person, whoever that is from your past, um, they're going to be kicked down a notch and, and this person really stands a chance of surpassing that. Regardless of if there's, uh, you know, kind of a completion date on this connection, it's possible that this this could be, you know, like long-term forever person kind of energy. But even if this is something where it's just kind of a seasonal connection, you know, eventually you go your separate ways, it feels like overall you will have a very positive experience with this individual. There, You will leave with a sense of having been loved properly that may sort of switch the template of what you're looking for, um, you know, what you're magnetizing in. It may really also be a reflection to you of work that you've done within to sort of heal your own wounds. You've now called in a, a higher quality or caliber of individual than you had previously. So it feels to be something that, um, you know, there, there's a lot of long-term potential for this situation for personal healing and growth, um, growth and healing within the connection to release any of those wounds or any of those places of like deficit within yourself and feeling very filled and fulfilled by this person. We also have rejoice. So again, this is that energy of happiness. This is a sense that you'll be glad you took a chance on this person or you're, you'll be glad that you opened your heart up to this person. Um, you know, it's, it's possible that this could again be like your long-term partner this could be your your long-term person but it feels to be something that there will be a lot of healing and evolution and growth personally and kind of as a unit within the situation with one another to where the sky's really the limit as far as what will happen in the situation the duration of that it feels like the most important kind of point for for those of you that are resonating with the energies of this reading is that 
regardless of, you know, if it's till death do we part or, or you part ways further down the road and um, kind of move off in other directions, there's a high likelihood you'd remain friends with this person or it would be like an amicable parting of the ways. It's not someone that you would look back on with kind of like a sour taste in your mouth, like that was a waste of time or now I've got all this healing to do. So overall, it feels to be something that the long-term viability is very positive for the two of you, regardless of kind of what the what the dynamic has in store in terms of like the title that you put upon it um, or the nature of what happens. It feels that you're both enhanced as a result of, of experiencing romance with one another. So let's get some messages from their higher self and see what they want to tell you right now. have I am still moved by you so um, if you've opened up about some things that were maybe uncomfortable you know you you shared and you may have worried like did I overshare and, and it could have made you very self-conscious um, this is a sense that this person finds you even more endearing because of that vulnerability because of the woundedness that you you've entrusted them with you you've kind of given them this knowledge of of your uh, sort of shadow self or, or the things in romance maybe that you're that you're not proud of or um, you know things that have happened to you in in romantic connections that have kind of left some scars left some wounds they they find that those places where you hurt are exactly where they are wanting to kind of gravitate toward in order to infuse you with a sense of healing in order to help kind of ease your burden ease your suffering in a way um, they see you as somebody that has a has a great light within you um, and it's a shame that you haven't been loved or appreciated properly up to this point in time but they feel very very determined to um, kind of change that to to sort of create something very different within sort of your uh, template of, of of what it means to be loved or to be romanced or to be wooed by another person. They also say no one else matters now. So um, this again speaks to someone that really only has eyes for you. They're very focused on this situation. They're, they're very dedicated to this. Um, even if things are kind of taking a slow pace or distance is a factor, it's like a long distance connection. There's a sense of they will do what it takes in order to bridge that gap between the two of you. There's a determination to see this through to the next level or to continue to get to know you, continue to allow the connection to, to grow and to evolve and to develop. They also say you changed my whole direction. Um, so they may have fallen for you a lot more quickly than they anticipated or um, you know their heart is kind of pulled towards you in a way that there's again a sense of almost like I want to love you but I also want to help heal wounds within. It may be something where um, they almost look at you with the sense of uh, as like a treasure and that you've been mishandled in various ways uh, you know emotionally speaking and there's a sense of almost like I want to ease a suffering that you carry within. I want to help you see your value and worth. I want to help you feel appreciated and cherished in ways that others before me were unable to do. Um, and so it feels to be something more than kind of just investing in the situation for the pure uh, interest of, of kind of, you know, experiencing romance or, or dating someone or getting to know someone. There, there's almost like a compulsion within this person at a soul level um, to try in some way, kind of regardless of what the outcome is, to try and kind of leave you in a better position emotionally or energetically than they, than they found you or that they're like sensing within you. And they also say, I just want to go back in time. So there's an essence with this person that they wish they'd met you sooner before a lot of the emotional damage had happened to you or certain events had happened in your life because there's a sense of, I would have loved you differently. I would have loved you correctly. I would have really been there maybe when you didn't have anyone or um, you know when you were trying to pick up the pieces of things all on your own. I would have been there to help you, um, to hold space with you, to, you know, to be that shoulder to cry on if you needed that. Um, so there's a deep sense sense of like compassion that this person has for you as an individual, but also something where they're deeply compelled towards you on an emotional level. 
it feels that they haven't even set any limits as far as like the longevity of this situation. Um, they're taking it, it almost feels like day by day, but there's a sense here with this, with this energy of kind of like, if you're my forever person, if we have forever with one another, that's beautiful. And if it's something where we part ways, I will still hold on to all these beautiful experiences, these beautiful memories. The, the beauty of your energy itself will be something that will be cherished within them as like a gift in this lifetime. So let's get some initials. These can be a first, middle, or last name of you or this person or can spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. We've got X, O, H, S, G, N, M, J, Q, F, I, U, A, H, L, D, and T. So those are your messages. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer those through my Etsy shop, and there's a link to that in the description box of the video. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of those out as well. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please take care and be well. Hi, group three. You chose the garnet. So let's start by taking a look at what are the intentions of the person on your mind towards you and this connection. have Weaver, Weaver of the Web of Life Cooperation. So this person intends on building a beautiful love story with you, something that is one for the ages, one for the books, um, something that kind of utilizes sort of the lessons that each of you have been through in your life or in your romantic past and the ways in which you have alchemized those pains, those hurts, those mistakes, those missteps into wisdom in order to forge a different sort of path towards wish fulfillment or reaching some kind of destined point of fulfillment in sort of the quadrant of your life, your lives related to uh, love and romance. There's a sense of an, an intention to link their life with yours as well. So they're looking towards the future. They're not just looking at this as like a fleeting connection, something temporary, but it's something that almost very painstakingly in a very detail oriented way, um, they're seeing that the connection the chemistry between the two of you, uh, the love, the romance, this is all, um, you know, the makings of art. There's an artistry to this. You, you bring out the artist within them. And there's a desire to um, help to paint a very beautiful picture of love with you, um, for you and, and also for themselves. And we have Anastasia, self-discovery. So there's a sense here that this person is intending to help you to understand a deeper level and layer within yourself of just how radiant you are, just how lovable you are, just how fascinating you are in, in all of your different seasons and everything that they know about you up to this point in time. Um, you've really given them pause like a cause to sort of pause and consider things uh it's the energy of the of the hermit kind of going within and and looking within and sort of saying um you know what's the best that i've brought into romantic situations up to this point in my life and how can i do better by this person how can i do better for myself by um opening up emotionally speaking you know taking down walls taking down blocks and barriers to be able to experience the fullness and the richness of the energy 
of love that you, the viewer, has to offer. So it feels like it's an intention within uh, this person to kind of lead by example of going in to sort of um, move beyond any kind of narrative or template or expectation they may have had for uh, the long-term potential of this situation or what they're looking for at this time in their life. And there's a sense of let's go deeper in this situation. Let's go further in this situation. Um, let's look towards the long range. Let's look at this with the energies of optimism rather than introducing any kind of pessimism. And if there are doubts or worries or fears that kind of come up, there's a sense here of um, this person intending to be very proactive to kind of neutralize those within themselves so that you feel confident that you're dealing with somebody that will consistently choose you, will consistently kind of um, seek to improve themselves and kind of evolve along with the evolution of this connection. It's the energy of transforming the narrative of love and romance as well for the two of you out of something that might have been kind of, um, you know, intense but unpredictable and then sort of um, burning hot and then burning out. And there's a sense here of this person wanting to be very meticulous in the ways in which, you know, they keep the spice of the situation alive, but then there's also time to really um, get into like a contemplative mode, get into a place where you're both tending to your own sort of needs, your own sort of lives. You're not sinking into into an energy of codependency or, um, you know, making your whole world sort of revolve around this situation. There's a sense of really um, intending to sort of cultivate your individuality and then bringing forth something into, into this connection in the long-term future um, that carries a groundedness with it because you continue to sort of, um, you know, fulfill your own needs or tend to your own sort of duties and obligations. You've continued to keep that sense of self alive and well and thriving and evolving Evolving, that you came to this place of sort of finding one another, starting to get to know one another. There's a sense of them intending not to diminish um, from your reality, from your existence, but only helping you to kind of um, strengthen your sort of comfort with where you're at in your life at this point in time or anything that you're dissatisfied with in terms of like longer term goals or dreams. There's an interest here as well for this person holding space for you while you sort of puzzle that out and pursue that in your own right um, or a sense of even any ways that they can kind of help you to uh, maybe problem solve or, or work work as a team toward uh, creating a better sense of, of stability within yourself or within your life. That's part of their intentions as well. And we have leadership. So again, this is the energy of facing any kind of fears, facing any sort of um, hesitations, guardedness, wounds of the past, uh, you know, things that kind of went wrong in romance or kind of owning their part as well um, as far as their shortcomings, their mistakes, not just blaming ex-partners for things going sour, but really sort of taking their fair share of the responsibility onto themselves and being very proactive to be accountable, to make sure, um, am I falling back into old patterns? Am I mindful of sort of wounds within myself that I've already uncovered that have a tendency to kind of rear their ugly head in romantic connections or have been problematic in situations in my life or in my past? It feels like somebody that takes a lot of accountability for themselves or they're very motivated to do that in this situation, to not just be immersed within the idea of love and romance, but to sort of incorporate that in the fold of ways in which they're showing up in order to kind of evolve into a better version of themselves as well. Maybe even bringing a lot of those strategies and techniques, anything that they've learned in therapy and in any kind of self-help or, you know, just any kind of meditation, any introspection, any sort of like healthy lifestyle habits or, um, you know, beliefs or practices that have really enriched them um, personally and along kind of their life journey or, or the romantic romantic journey, there's a sense of them almost wanting to introduce those positive elements into the situation in the hopes that it can help kind of create that more solid foundation between the two of you um, and create almost the essence of like a dynamic energy where there's a lot of possibilities for how this situation can grow and evolve that really meets both of your individual kind of requirements and needs. We also have safe travel. Um, so this is the energy of, you know, going into a long-term connection. Um, there's a desire to kind of put any fears to rest, bring peace to your heart, move with kind of the ebbs and flows with, you know, the intense times, the turbulent times, um, the times that are calm and placid, really a desire to make sure that you don't feel claustrophobic within the situation, but that you also don't feel abandoned or left out in the cold when this person is, you know, sort of tending 
into their own responsibilities, when they're sort of checking in with themselves emotionally, um, you know, trying to open up, it feels like, lines of communication between the two of you, or to really build some sort of trust um, as far as the reciprocity, the give and take, that any anything where they're kind of pulling back their energy or sort of redirecting the focus, it feels like this person um, is almost somebody that is, is very, they're in a point in their life where they're taking a lot of personal responsibility. They're very proactive with that, with going within. And so it feels like any times where they're sort of um, pulling away or, you know, going within themselves, there's an urge to kind of bring forth more intensity, bring forth um, almost the wisdom that they're gathering up from inside or, or things that they're kind of working toward in order to not just have that for themselves as an individual, but to really infuse that within the situation so that you understand that they have a desire to see this through into something long term, but to also have it be a situation where um, it grows above and beyond kind of uh, what you were expecting of love, what they were expecting of love, what each of you has expected experienced in love up to this point in time. There's this energy of we could be really good together in a long-term sense. This could have all the makings of like a realistic fairy tale, um, you know, not just something that is is kind of um, idealistic, but then lacks kind of the practical elements to it. There's a sense that you can have the best of both worlds in this situation. And so it feels like the intention is to um, get very creative as far as like how they seek to sort of build that alongside you. So let's take a look at the long-term viability of this connection. We have transcendent amidst the everyday and with that imagery with the little book right there that definitely confirms this idea this could be that fairy tale romance not a too good to be true situation but something that um, really exceeds your expectations maybe of what another person is capable of in general this may be something that restores your faith in humanity or um, you know in, in the types of romantic partners that you've dealt with in the past. This is someone that's able to go the distance. They're able to get very creative. Um, they're wanting to sort of rewrite the narrative or the expectation of what the two of you have known in terms of love and partnership in the past. And, and it's a sense of a co-creative energy. Um, you know, where it's like a meeting of the minds or, uh, you know, you're stronger together than apart, uh, sort of an essence here. And so it feels like something that there is a high likelihood that this will, whatever you're sort of expecting out of the situation at this point in time, it feels like you'll be pleasantly surprised at uh, the ways in which this unfolds or the sense of almost like an anticipation what will the next chapter of your story hold? Um, you know, what sort of adventure of love are you are you bound to go on with this individual? Um, there's a limitlessness with this. There, there's a sense that this is really, you'd be hard pressed to kind of find an experience or, or find an individual that would match or even exceed kind of the ways in which this this person is capable of sort of looking at the situation very enthusiastically very creatively um, something which transcends the ordinary so well worth kind of staying tuned in the situation or um, you know continuing to to kind of explore and experience you know what you have with one another and what's possible in the future we also have success. So this is again, kind of like, you know, ascending beyond sort of what your what you had thought sort of your happily ever after would look like, um, that this carries that quality of, you know, like 10 of pentacles, your, your homecoming, you, you found your forever home, you, you found your person. Um, that's highly likely in this situation. And it feels to be something that will help you to really understand or validate that any ways in which you've raised the bar, raised the standard on who has access to you or, or you're willing to kind of be lifted up by the wings of love, the sense of like rising into love as opposed to falling in love, um, that all of that is possible within this situation. It has the makings of, you know, that beautiful romance and the practical way where you're both like supporting one another emotionally, uh, materially, psychically, energetically, spiritually, uh, romantically, it just in, in all ways this this has the ability to be um, a very detailed a very thorough um, you know a very exciting connection between the two of you something that will make you feel very glad that you chose to take a chance on this individual or um, you allowed them the opportunity to sort of show you what they're capable of in life and and in love so let's get some messages from their higher self and see what they want to tell you right now Okay, and 
they say, I've been having weird dreams about us. So if you know, you're kind of envisioning the future with this person, you're dreaming of that happily ever after, they're dreaming of the same thing with you. Uh, you may be connecting in the astral realm, connecting in that dream space, even having visions and downloads um, as far as kind of further points along your timeline. This could even be like a past life connection um, where you're having sort of deja vu or again like visions and downloads of other lifetimes where things worked out where it was very beautiful between the two of you. All of that feels to be a motivation for you con to continue to trust in this situation that you've aligned with one another in this lifetime at this point in your lives for a reason. Um, no matter what the ups and downs have been as far as your romantic life it almost feels to be something that this might be kind of that forever person, that thing that sort of helps you close the chapter on unpleasant experiences in love and romance, because now you've found that place that almost sort of makes all the struggles worth it. Um, all the loss, all the pain, all, all the upset, it, it was worth it because now you've found this person that you can build into a very uh, productive and, and secure and, and, and stable direction with. And they also say you were so unexpected. So it feels that you meet a lot of the requirements that they were looking for in terms of a partner um, in a very practical sense or in an emotional sense, but it feels like you even bring qualities to the table that they didn't know was possible to find within a person. Um, this is almost the essence of someone who at times is just sort of speechless watching you just in awe. Like, are you real? Is somebody like you even exist? How, how did I miss this before? How did I, I was missing missing out in terms of what's possible um, with another person, the level of fulfillment, who you are, the energy that you exude. It's almost like best friends and lovers all in one. Um, something where the way that you make this person feel inside, they, they never knew that was possible romantically. It might even be something where you're helping to really improve this person's self-esteem. You're helping them to love themselves more by the ways in which you are showing love to them. They also say no one else matters now, so they are singularly focused on you, determined to build a beautiful future with you, determined to rewrite the narrative as far as um, what you had projected the future to look like, or wounds that had been left behind by people that couldn't love you properly, didn't value and cherish you, um, you know, couldn't kind of match your expectations, or didn't have the stamina to kind of go the distance with you. There's a sense that this person uh, is in this for the long haul. They're they're willing to adapt. They're willing to evolve. They're willing to grow. Um, they want to keep pace with you. They, they want to keep exploring this and uh, seeing what the future holds between the two of you. And they also say, I'm sending you telepathic messages. Um, so again, that's that visions, downloads, there may be telepathy that's very strong between the two of you. Um, you may be kind of picking up on ways in which they are sort of scripting what they want to say next, ways in which they want to uh, make a commitment to you, you know, maybe even like long-term commitment, you know, proposing or moving in together or, you know, confessing feelings, becoming exclusive, whatever it is that that looks like. Um, a sense of even there's feelings that they have for you that can't even necessarily be put to words that, you know, they'll send that as far as telepathy, they'll send that as far as energy is concerned, but it feels like there's a depth here that has been unlocked within them emotionally, or that you're kind of, you've expressed to them, that you're sort of eliciting from within them that they never knew was possible. Um, feelings that they are feeling that they didn't know they had that range, they didn't know that had, they had that capability. This could be somebody who has a tendency to be kind of an avoidant as far as commitment is concerned and they may feel strangely comfortable in your presence to where it's almost just a sense of like how am I so at ease with this person we've just met or it's only been this long or this is not usually how I show up in romantic connections and so there's a sense of a lot of gratitude that they have for you for almost bringing out the best in them and and very kind of naturally and organically activating kind of this this person that's able to go the distance, that's it's able to kind of have compassion and hold space for themselves and, and kind of a process of growth and evolution, but is very interested, very enthusiastic about keeping pace with you or, or you know, catching up with you or um, continuing to kind of evolve and, and discover what more, what next in the situation between the two of you. So I'm gonna get some initials. This can be a first, middle, or last name or can spell something out, just whatever resonates for you. We've got M, I, T, S, G, N, 
U, X, B, B, W, W, Y, L, D, M, and L. So those are your messages. I hope that they resonated with you and that you enjoyed the reading. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, or share. If you'd like a personal reading, I offer those through my Etsy shop, and there's a link to that in the description box of the video. I offer a variety of pre-recorded video readings, written readings, and channeled letters. Turnaround time on everything is five to seven days from the time of purchase. I also sell handmade jewelry, dream catchers, and sun catchers if you're interested in checking any of those out as well. I hope to see you again in another reading. Please Please take care and be well.